Okay, I started the truss rod slot. I just wanted to uh, show what I was doing here. I've uh, used a uh, quarter inch chisel. It's a little on the wide side, but I found you know you have a little bit of space to work there. And I basically uh, I started with a line that I punched with a larger chisel, following my truss rod line. Once I got that line cut out, it was an outline and it, it just kind of made this thing glide. I just put it in a slot and let it go. So I'm almost ready to drop this in. It's a uh, Stumac hot rod, uh, two way truss rod. These things are great, they're like $16. Um, and they're, real, they're fairly easy to install. One thing I've noticed is if you look, the bottom is sort of beveled. So once I get these rough fit, Take a round file. Just take that and run through, and that's gonna round my bottom off here. And I honestly just I don't measure enough when I do this stuff. You say I measure measure twice, cut once. I uh I eyeball it and cut shallow. And as long as everything's straight and narrow, at least in my uh my very limited experience. Everything gets nice and snug. There's no wiggle room on either side. If there was, I could probably put some shims made from uh, some shavings. I've got them laying around if you don't see my workbench here. Um, but yeah, that's basically how I'm going to do this. I'm going to keep finishing it up. Once I get it all done, I'll try to come back and circle and do another video so you can see the final work. I mean, here's my Luthery tools. I have a couple of clamps, my chunk of mahogany, my chisel half round saw, truss rod. That's all you need really for a truss rod, uh, truss rod installation. I, I don't know a lot of people that advocate this method and uh, I've never heard of anybody else doing it that way, but it's really fun and fulfilling. So that's all I got, man. Just, you know, a real short clip of me making a short scale snack. All right, enjoy.